All right, guys, welcome to episode 111 of Dope Talk TV. Is your truly low key got Johnny and with me. The dogs are put away. You already know how to fuck a rocking, man. We appreciate Yo. everybody that's rocking, liking, <clears throat> sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we drop, man. Listen, link is going to be in the description so y'all can go down, get yourself some merch, check it out. We got dog clothes, we got women clothes, we got baby clothes, whatever the fuck you need, man. We, we got, got it all. We got all it. right. And if you don't have it, we don't have it, we can get it for you. So just let us know, man. Go down in the comments and let us know if y'all rocking with it, if you're not. How yeah. we feeling today, Johnny boy? How we feeling? How we feeling? Shit, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful motherfucking Thursday. We out here. And uh, it's kind of wet. You know, it's kind of rainy out right now, but <clears throat> it was nice earlier. It yeah, was it was nicer vibe. earlier, man. It was a great vibe. Um, yeah, bro. It's a good day, man. I'm feeling, I'm feeling straight too, bro. Word. Had a couple white claws. You know what I'm saying? Feeling all right. Fucking got a, got a blunt, got some light blunt, your blunt. Got some J's, so light your blunt, light your J, pack your bone, pack your bowl, get your edibles ready, dab rigs, whatever the fuck you do, man. You know what I'm saying? Just get that shit going. And uh, yeah, man. man. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy how like we get conditioned to certain things over the years, right? And I think that one of the things that we got conditioned to is filling our fucking phone go off. <laughs> yeah, it's like, kind of weird. It it's just happens. It's weird, to me. bro. Like sometimes, like you just sit in there and your thigh will vibrate a little bit, and you're like, yeah. And then your phone will even be in your pocket or some shit. Like it's weird. Bro. Yeah, yeah. That shit just happened to me like earlier. And I was just like, yo, like I felt my fucking leg vibrate, but my phone's over on the table. Like I just, I don't know. If that happened to y'all, let me know because this shit yeah. happens to me like on a daily. Go I don't know down. if that's just signal. Yeah, go like, down in the comments and let us know. But it's weird though because it'll happen and then somebody will actually hit you up like a few minutes later. Yeah, it's You're weird. Like, yeah. Like, it's, what the fuck? Is it coincidence or is it just like. It's all signals, vibrations, I guess, whatever you want to call it. But, frequencies, whatever. Yeah, you know but I, mean? I don't know. That's just weird to me. Like, right? Like, it's like nah, a twitch. Facts. Is my leg twitching or is it just. Just like really I feel, like it's kind of I feel like it's kind of like when you like think about somebody and then they hit you up it's kind of the same thing I think because whenever, that, to whenever tell you that shit goes off you usually have somebody in mind let's keep it real yeah your shit you think your phone goes off and you it's usually a few people it's one or like two or three people yeah you know what I'm saying so it's like that's true it's weird like yeah that is true that shit happened to me all the fucking time it's weird dude it's 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 a weird fucking thing no, it happens um, bro it fucking happens a lot of Listen, things man <laughs> <laughs> round of applause yo he's good <laughs> round about of applause say. for my dog what was you gonna say before yo, I give you a round of applause day, day four Hey, listen, man. Round of applause. Day four, no caffeine. Round of applause to my dog. He quit caffeine. And uh, honestly, bro, it's crazy because we used to be opposites. I used to never drink no caffeine. And then he used to drink cups of coffee every day, fucking buckets of that shit like he was fucking... Yeah, because my fucking mom, my Latino mom fucking would make me drink fucking Bustelo. Shout out to Miss Kathy, man. Shout out to Miss Kathy. Bustelo at fucking 12 years old, 11 years old. (laughs) My mom nah, was like, come I'm on, so, drink this. I used to, I'm so glad I never got into it, bro. My mom used to do the same. Like, our family yeah. used to do the same, but I always, I was always like, I want hot chocolate. I don't want that. Yeah, exactly. And then, like, it was, it's crazy. The things that made me get into caffeine was something that I didn't even think had caffeine in it, which was bangs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, I told you. I told like you. I got bangs. You know what I'm saying? Put that into my my system. Put that into my diet, man. It's just different. Now. I told him. I told him. I said, yo, there's caffeine in there. He's like, for real? And he started looking at the Yeah, I looked reading. it up. I didn't bring it back up. <laughs> I, I didn't like, bring bro, it back I was up. Like, that's I was what, like, damn. That's what gives us that energy. You know what I mean? But That shit makes me feel I, like I'm ready to go lift a fucking it's baby good. elephant, bitch. Fuck out of here. Caffeine is not like, I'm just, I'm not saying it's like horrible for you, but I'm just saying when you don't use it right or you take too it much of it. It a bad habit. Yeah, and it became a bad habit for me. Like I needed caffeine to, to, to start my day. I can start my own day. There's people that go yeah. through that, but not even with coffee. Like, they go through it with soda. Yeah. You like, know, like, yeah. they need that Sprite or they need that Coca-Cola. They yeah. need that to be feel to feel like... But it's all mental, bro. Yeah, it it's is It's all mental. mental. Yeah, I'm telling you right is. now, it's all mental. Mind over matter. Mind over matter. That's what drugs... That's what anything, bro. Like, yeah. There's people that have been addicted to hard drugs, bro, and they end up co- overcoming it because mentally, they, you know, they really wanted to and they overcame it. Yeah, 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 yeah! Congrats, man, to them because that shit's hard. That shit ain't easy, bro. You know what I'm saying? The drugs and shit. Facts. Round of applause yeah. to everybody that's gotten clean over the years and went through that struggle. It's an everyday struggle, man. Like I've known people, I've lost friends to to drug use. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to those those friends. Yeah. But it sucks. Yeah, bro. It's not a it's not easy situation to to deal with because it's something that ultimately could have been prevented. 
Yep. Like a lot of the times it could have been prevented. And that's the tragedy. That's the real tragedy. Cause it's like not comparing it at all, but it's like, if somebody were to catch a ill, like a disease that's like terminal, like that's, that's completely out of your control. Yeah. That's, different. you know, but like, yeah. like sticking a needle in your arm, snorting something, all of that was a choice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's a choice. It, it was a choice. Day. Yeah. You, your mind is a powerful thing. You know what I mean? Like when you think like you you just need to manifest it. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And just be like, yo, like I'm I'm gonna change or I'm gonna I'm gonna do certain things where I want this or I want that. You know, you really just gotta like really think, keep thinking of it, speak it to existence. I always I always said that too. You always did too. You'd always say that. You'd be like, yo, speak things into existence, bro. Like this is gonna you happen. To. And you have to, bro. You, you know? gotta speak. Like I talk <clears> about it every day. To like you get asked this man right here, bro. I talk about the same fucking things every day accomplishing the same goals every day i talk that's all i basically talk about and it's like it's not even an obsession it's beyond that it's it's become a part of our life bro where we we have to do this yeah we have to do it we got no choice there is no choice yeah it's like it's either be lazy and just settle with whatever life throws at us because you don't know what life is going to throw at you. Complacency, man. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's big, bro. Yeah. That's powerful what you just said, bro. Like, a yeah. lot of people, like, a lot of people just accept what life what life gives you. And it might not be a bad situation. Yeah. And that's why you accept it. And you're like, you know, okay, cool. I can deal with this. Yeah. But ultimately, bro, more often than not, 20, 30, 40, 50 years down the line when you're old and you're just sitting there reminiscing on your whole life. Your entire life, the last 50, 60 years, you're like, damn, I wish I would have done that. Most people get to, they die like that. Whereas like, I wish I would have done that. I wish I would have done this and seen what it did for me. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and you know what, you know where you hear that at the most is like, uh, nursing homes. Yeah. Nursing homes. And you know, Gary Vee spoke about it all the time. Yeah. He's like, yo man, like, he's like, how old are you to this kid? And he's like, oh, 28 or 26 or some shit like that. He's like, bro, he said, people think that 31 is old and it's not. Like you, you're thinking like, yo, 30s old, man. And it's really, really fucking it's not. not. And <clears throat> it's just time that does that. Cause we yeah. were all at that point at some point where we're, you're 15, 16, you're like, damn, 30, nigga, that's old. Like you're old ass man. Bro, at 30, at 30, realistically speaking, you're just starting your life, bro. You've, that's at that 30 age that like in your 20s, you, you became an adult. You, you've had a heartbreak. You've had jobs you don't like. You've been in situations where you didn't want to be in. Yeah. And ultimately, bro, you learn if you were smart enough, you learned from those situations <laughs> and now you're moving on to a different chapter. Yeah, That's exactly. what we talked about the day where we we're like, yo, we just don't want to do hard labor anymore. Yeah. Nigga, we earned that right. We did it. Yeah. It's not like we're sitting here being 17 and being fucking lazy. Like, oh, yeah. I don't want to lift that. Nigga, we did it yeah. for years. Yeah. So now it's our turn to be like, listen, 18 year old, I'm 30 now. You thought I was an old man? Well, let me be an old man, nigga. You go lift it. Like it's like, <laughs> it's like people don't Real shit. you really need to to work for it, bro. Like yeah. you know what I mean? Like Shaquille O'Neal when he was explaining in this interview, he was just like, yo, like I'm a millionaire. My kids are not millionaires. I tell you, right. I'm rich. Right. You're not rich. And you know, the thing <laughs> is, it's like people, people look at that and they think that he's privileged. Motherfucker, do you know how hard you have to work to get into the NBA? You know how many other motherfuckers are working to get into the NBA? Yeah. It, it's not always about skill. Like Dr. Eric Thomas says, it's really not always about skill, bro. Yeah. It's about that hustle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The reason why the greats are the greats. Is because they consistently worked harder. Yeah. That's all the difference. That was the only difference. LeBron is LeBron because he consistently works harder, bro. Yeah. Like, all day. The season doesn't start for them next season on the first day, it starts at the end of the last season's day. The last day of the last season, that's when the, the next season starts, bro. And they get to work. Yeah. That weekend, they're back in the gym. They're back hustling. Yeah. I was listening to the, uh, the interview, not interview, but, uh, the Eric Thomas thing that you sent me the video. And he's like, yo, like this guy just won the championship. What are you going to do? And he's like, I'm going to keep going. You rest for two seconds. <laughs> yeah, bro. He, he, you know, he rested I mean? for two seconds and kept working out. Like it doesn't. So what that you just won a fucking championship? Yeah. Congratulations, nigga. Yeah. That's what they're going to ask. Can you do it again? <clears throat> yep. 
It doesn't matter what you do. like, and that's what I've learned, bro. Yeah. Like over the years, it's like you could win ten times, bro. People are still gonna talk shit, and they're gonna be like, "Well, can you do it again?" Well, bitch, have you ever done it once? Because that's the that should be the real question. Like you're like a lot of people are couch commentators, where it's like, "Oh, this nigga's trash." That nigga, nigga you wouldn't even make it to the fucking training camp. <laughs> but you're telling a grown, prof- a, a professional athlete. That they suck. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like, and that's with a lot of different things. It's like, bro, like, like if you don't do it, bro, don't comment on it. Yeah, like if you, you know yeah, you don't know. And the, you could, have, matter of fact, not even that, because everybody has their own opinion that you're entitled to do that. You're entitled to, to speak your mind, but it's like, yeah. just don't expect people to take your fucking opinion seriously if you don't know what the, like, you don't, you've never done that. Yeah, and you, you just need to understand that, like, you're not looking at the back of it, of, of that success. Like, what happened? The back scenes, bro. Yeah, yeah, like a lot of shit happened. You know what I mean? And some people may not have it. Some people have that glory life. Like, yo, like it, it was perfect. Everything was, was good. You know? It was perfect. Hey, if that's your story, bro, and salute to you. Round of applause. Great but, for you. But that's not most people's story. Exactly. Most yeah. people, bro, you got to go through something. Yeah, you got you to right. go through adversity. You got to go through sleepless nights. You got to go through hungry days. You yeah. got to go through... You got to go through different shit, man. And yeah. it's like, I look back at it. Sometimes, bro, you... It's only human nature to feel pity for yourself and be like, why me? Why me? Why not somebody else? But it's like, bro, that's what makes you. Like yep. those those days, bro, where I was working with you at Just Floors and I couldn't eat for two days, that made me who I am today. It made me want to grind harder. Yeah. It made me realize, like, nigga, I need to change my motherfucking life. I can't be sitting here fucking working just to only pay bills and be broke. And literally have nothing to eat. Yeah, that's just trash. It just changes your perspective. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it, if I wouldn't have gone through that, bro, if I would have had a safety net, if, if I would have had handouts, it would have been different. Yeah. I would have been a completely different person. A different you person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but that's why you can't look at your past You'd and be, be like, entitled. fuck, man. It's like, right. It's like, you, you can't look at your past and be like, damn, bro, poor me. You got to look at it and be like, fuck, man, I did that. I made it through. You know what I'm saying? Like, I fucking did that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and you ever notice that, like, when you feel like there's never a way, God always makes a way? Of course, there's always, God there's always, there's, always makes there, a way. There's always a way. You know what I mean? Another thing Dr. Eric Thomas said, he's like, bro, you all sitting here still stressing about making rent. Doesn't God always help you make rent? That's facts. And for those of you guys out there that might not be religious, you know what I'm saying? This might not be the segment for you, but we're, we believe in God. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, I really believe that God has made plenty of ways. You yeah. know what I'm saying for me to do to to be where I'm at today. It's not all me, man. Yeah, it's just it's like, all it's all a, a a combination of of belief, work ethic, God. All of it comes together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying help from people. You know, everybody wants to act like they made it by themselves, bro. No, you didn't. There was no. plenty of people that helped you along the way. A lot of people helped you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So it's like, yeah, that's, that's true. That's how I feel. That's true. That. That's true, bro. That's a good way of looking at life, man. For real. Yeah, bro. It's like life has changed, bro. Life has changed a lot, man. And it's like like tattoos, bro. Like it's crazy to think about like the tattoos that we got. Like nowadays they're way more accepted. Like people don't look too much. Yeah. Imagine having these sleeves when we were fucking uh, 20 years ago, 30 years ago when tattoos weren't looked at being looked at the same. It's yeah, like especially those big tattoos, you know? Like the big sleeves. Like you know, it was just normal maybe like little Stamps, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? It, yeah, that's that's crazy, and I don't know, man. Something about tattoos when it comes to like lettering, I feel like it just looks off to me. It doesn't look right. Yeah, I I'm not a big fan of letter tattoos if it's done correctly and it's done not too much. It's like, especially I've they, seen when some they nice it, ones when they when the women, I feel like it's more for women. I've been with a, yeah, I've been with a couple of women that have it on their chest right here, and I always thought that was just like, ugh. but it's just the cliche ones like yeah. loyalty, and like <laughs> Jesus fuck, like all right, bitch, you know you cheated on your bitch. Shut, nah, bro, bro, the they fuck don't. Out Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. That's straight funny. Up. That's funny. Nah, no, that's up. or like the back tattoos too, or like the the, the stamps on their on, right here. On the lower back. <laughs> Listen, a tramp stamp. A tramp stamp. <laughs> you're a tramp. I forgot. I, I forgot that. Nah, you're a fucking tramp. If you have a no, nah, but listen, baby. <laughs> I met a lot of y'all that were fucking cool as shit that had tramp stamps, man. And it's like, but what what the fuck makes your Jews there? 
You don't ever see it. You probably forget about no, it. No, it's when you bend over, you see it a little bit. You know, mm, it's that little. So, so you just try to show out. <laughs> nah, you you, you want to get. <laughs> you want to get. A, it's, a, it's a bullseye. Is that what you saying? Nah, I don't know. I don't know is what it, it is. You trying it's, to get? She's trying to so get stamped. fucked up. You ever seen those fucked up tattoos? You don't even know what the fuck it is. Hey, bro, I respect those though. Cause yeah. you were a fucking idiot. <laughs> You're a and trooper. You, hey, you kept it. Yeah. There's a lot of pe- there's a lot of tattoo artists, bro, that really like they feel like that. They look at a shitty tattoo and they just like. They're like, admire wow, it. It's a masterpiece. They admire it because yeah. they're like, "Hey, man, like it might nah, not be the best tattoo, but you're a f- you nah. were a dumb kid." You know what I'm saying? No, like, the, yeah, yeah. You keep that one tattoo that's like real stupid, but I never did it because I I saw yeah. everybody else's. I got my initials tattooed on my right arm. Yeah, but that I mean, that's pretty fucking stupid, bro. <laughs> Let's just keep it a buck. I, it's my tattoo, and I can tell you it's fucking dumb. Would you get it covered up? Probably yeah. I got my other. 